Registered Phenomena Code 130 Object Class Alpha Orange Hazard Types Visual Hazard Info Hazard Anti-Physical Hazard Mechanical Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-130-2 is to be maintained in a soundproof Alpha-class containment room, unplugged from the electrical systems of the facility. The only RPC-130-2 instance is currently on site. Pregnant Authority personnel and infants less than six months of age are prohibited from entering the containment room, with the exception of D-Class for testing. Any television set is to be kept at least 50 meters away from RPC-130-2, to prevent the same effects manifesting at other televisions. See Incident Log 130-1. But this is not a guaranteed way of restricting the ability to affect televisions outside this range. The anomaly area of possible effect is likely larger than the maximum area of effect that has been observed. It is believed that the phenomenon constantly changes its range. Due to this, tests are made monthly to monitor the changes in range. Description: RPC-130 is composed of three distinct anomalies, labeled RPC-130-1, RPC-130-2, and RPC-130-3. RPC-130-1 is a TV channel with the registration name of RPC-130-1 has the ability of spreading the nearby TVs. The range of this ability varies randomly as RPC-130-3 instances appear. Additionally, RPC-130-1 can randomly self-tune to any TV, although extremely rare. The television set, hereafter referred to as RPC-130, will begin to generate a white noise and static. When this noise is heard or the static is seen by anyone currently pregnant, the noise and static will change to an image displaying children running around a campfire in a forest, and a sound of soft music which has been identified as soothing the listeners. These are visible by anyone non-pregnant and or older than six months. Said children are also heard speaking in an unidentified language. After approximately one minute of viewing RPC-130-2, the viewer will suffer from a miscarriage with several severe side effects, including but not limited to intense pain, internal bleeding, vomiting, and death. Infants younger than six months introduced to RPC-130-2 will simply disappear, and a new instance of RPC-130-3 will generate. After this process, a new child or fetus will appear on the screen, now designated RPC-130-3. Each time someone suffers from the effects of it, a new child exactly like the one who disappeared will appear on RPC-130-2. All RPC-130-3 instances appear on a channel, no matter the TV where the channel was tuned. There are currently 21 instances of RPC-130-3. They also seem to age as time passes with RPC-130-2 turned on, the oldest RPC-130-3 instance being approximately 7 years old. Recovery was made when the town of Massachusetts in 86 reported 11 miscarriages, with 9 of them bringing death to the mother. At the same time, 3 newborn infants disappeared. The investigation found that the Church of Malthus had required the anomaly and used it as a hazard. Authority agents were deployed, terminated the Church of Malthus operatives, and administered the proper amnestics. A cover-up story of water poisoning and a gang shooting was made. Test number 1. November 2, 19 A three-month-old baby, designated D-5876, was equipped with an audio recorder and a camera was put in front of a powered RPC-130-2 instance with RPC-130-1 tuned. Authority researchers were only able to capture about a second of video footage, but none of the audio. The video footage shows two adult males in a studio, observing the camera. Test number 2. Date: January 18th. A pregnant, blindfolded and equipped with a soundproof headphone D-class, designated D1259, was instructed in the cell with a powered RPC-130-2 instance with RPC-130-1 tuned. No anomalous effects were recorded. Test aborted. Incident Log 130-1. Date: Location: 
Recreation Room Site During testing with RPC-130, a D-Class pushed RPC-130-2 in order to stop the white noise as instructed. While the white noise stopped, RPC-130-1 suffered a range change, spreading to the TVs on the recreation room. Site Director was killed from the spontaneous abortion. This is the first time that RPC-130-1 range changed without any instance of RPC-130-3 appearing. Incident Log 130-2 Date July 14, 2000 Location RPC-130 Containment Room Site Researcher Veronica, pregnant of two months, who was supervising a test with RPC-130 through a security camera, focused the image briefly on an RPC-130-2 instance. While she did not have a miscarriage, a day later she had complications in the pregnancy, which led to a miscarriage, and research was conducted, which revealed that RPC-130 had a relation with it. Note, viewing RPC-130-2 within a recording, or through a security camera, or any other means in which audio or video recording or real-time footage is heard or seen will result in anomalous effects.